a tally hole in the ISS out the front windows. Flight day three of shuttle mission STS-133 showing a successful link-up of shuttle Discovery to the International Space Station on its final flight. Rendezvous activities got started early Saturday morning as the shuttle crew, Commander Steve Lindsay and his crew, got busy with uh, engine firings that brought Discovery up underneath the International Space Station. My call, initiating RPM, three, two, one, mark. From there, they performed the uh, standard rendezvous pitch maneuver, a uh, head-over-heels backflip of the shuttle that allowed station crew members using uh, digital cameras with high-powered lenses to uh, capture imagery of the heat shield tiles on the underside of Discovery. They're looking for any evidence of damage done to that thermal protection system by debris on ascent or uh, subsequently on orbit. They then proceeded on into the docking, which took place at 1.14 Central Time, the 13th and final docking of Shuttle Discovery to the International Space Station. There was something of a delay in uh, finalizing the uh, hard mate of the two vehicles. They were, had to uh, wait until the relative motion of the two vehicles uh, damped out. Go ahead for cameras. And in the process, that allowed, that, unfortunately, the stack rotated a bit in orbit because both vehicles were in free drift. But that uh, was resolved in about a half an hour's time. The uh, two vehicles had a hard mate, and the uh, space shuttle engines were used to uh, bring the mated stack into a proper position so that the uh, station's solar arrays could once again begin uh, generating electricity to uh, power the batteries. The hatches between the two vehicles opened at uh, 3.16 Houston time, and the uh, crew of the space shuttle joined their station crewmates on board and uh, began right away to uh, begin transfer of spacewalk equipment that will be used by mission specialists Al Drew and Steve Bowen and during spacewalks coming up on Monday and Wednesday. Uh, the largest activity of the day was completed late in the crew day. The installation of the express logistics carrier number four was completed through the use of the two robot arms. The space station's robotic arm unberthed the ELC-3 from the payload bay and handed it off to the space shuttle arm. Then the station arm changed its base of operations from the Harmony module to the mobile base system. From there, it was commanded by Mission Specialist Nicole Stott, operating out of the cupola module, to uh, reach back out and take a grip once again on ELC-4. The uh, shuttle arm released it, and uh, Stott guided ELC-4 to a berth on the underside of the space station's truss structure on the uh, starboard three element where the uh, crew members completed their daily tasks. It was uh, really very impressive working from the cupola and uh, watching how these arms work together and getting ELC berth to the truss. Thanks for those words, Nicole, and you guys rock. It was wonderful watching you from here.